Hi, and welcome to Control-M short video on integrating CyberArk with Control-M. My name is Zev Gross, and I'm the Principal Technical Support Analyst at BMC Software. Let's go over the agenda. In this video, I will cover one, introduction to Vault Tools, two, what products support Vault Tools, three, how Control-M integration works with Vault Tools, and Four, final, is Vault CLI utility to manage the integration. Vault tools such as CyberArk offer a secure digital repository designed for storing sensitive information, including passwords, tokens, passphrases, and more. Beyond securely storing this information, these tools provide robust features for managing and controlling access. They also ensure temper-proof audit capabilities, allowing organizations to track and verify access history, adding an extra layer for security and compliance. The initial integration with CyberArk Vault Tools uses CyberArk's credential provider, CP. This approach requires the CyberArk agent with CP be installed on the same machine as Control-M plugin allowing the application to access the secure repository through SDK provided by CyberArk CP. In the upcoming release, version 22, we tentatively plan to introduce integration with CyberArk using CyberArk Central Credential Provider, CCP, via REST API. This change will eliminate the need to install CyberArk CP on the agent machine and it will instead enable direct authenticated access to CyberArk repository through REST API, allowing for more streamlined authentication without relying on SDK. Supported control and plugins with Vault integration. Control and plugins that support Vault integration include Application Integrator and Managed File Transfer, MFT. Let's cover first application integrator support. All job types developed in application integrator starting with version 21300 support Vault integration, including more than 100 pre-built factory integrations. These integrations are frequently updated with two to four new job types added each month. Job types created with earlier versions of application integrator will continue to function with the new application integrator plugin update. Job types created with earlier versions of application integrator or job types created with the new version of application integrator can retrieve the password by simply modifying the connection profile and selecting the new option of using external vault provider. By setting the password field to use an external vault provider, the password is retrieved from CyberArk instead of the stored secret previously stored directly in the CCP account file. Now let's talk about the managed file transfer, MFT. MFT 21300 also supports vault integration, the same as the application integrator does. For each password field in the CCP, you can select external vault integration. Previously defined MFT account profiles can be updated to use the external vault, allowing sensitive information to be stored in CyberArk instead of using the CCP account file. In central connection profile, when enabling external vault on a password data type, you have two options how to retrieve the password one CyberArk Vault, and two CyberArk Vault using query base. With CyberArk, one needs to define the application ID, the safe name, the folder name, and the account where the password resides. With query base definition, you specify in the query field a string with the name of the safe followed by a colon and then the username. Let's look at an example. Here we see both examples of CyberArk Vault and CyberArk Vault with query to locate the password. The first one, the Automation API Good Vault, 
connection profile is very simple. The only parameter that is needed to connect and authenticate is the password. Without clicking on the use external vault, you would just type in the password and it will be stored in the connection profile. But enabling use external vault, the form expands and allows you to input all the parameters required to access account object in CyberArk. After you enter the information, one can test the access using the test button. Similarly, using the CyberArk vault through query, select use external vault. The form will expand and the fields will appear, application ID and query. Specify the query in the field. As you can see in this case, we're safe equals to BMC colon username equals to one CMQA. And there's a test button on the bottom that one can check if the parameters are correct. Integration with Vault tools is specific to each plugin. Each plugin needs to configure and manage the connection with the Vault tools. The plugins that support Vault integration include Vault CLI utility to manage the integration. Vault CLI provides options to update, display, and delete configuration settings. Additionally, a test option is provided to validate the connection and accuracy of the current settings. To enable the use of Vault Secret Repository with CyberArk, first you need to enable two methods used to connect to CyberArk at the system level. At the system settings, under the external Vault integration, select both CyberArk and CyberArk with query-based method. This enables EM to provide these options for external integration with plugins that support it. Next step is to enable external integration with each plugin. To enable the use of Vault Secret Depository with CyberArk, first set the provider to CyberArk for the relevant plugin, and then set the path to the SDK, which is included as part of the Cyber CP installation. If CyberArk CP agent is not using the default port, then you also have to set the port used by the CP agent. You can review the current setting with config display option. That concludes our presentation on using CyberArk Vault Secret Repository to retrieve passwords for AI and MFT plugins. Thank you for watching. We greatly appreciate any feedback you have on this video.